All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Got Game Testers, where we play test games, and you guys get to decide if they're good or if they're not. Today's game is a game called Hunt or Gather, where you literally are trying to hunt and gather at the same time, uh, trying to get berries and trying to kill animals and bring them back for meat and hide and such, uh, and try to get the most points. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and check out the game. In the game Hunt and Gather, there's essentially two things that are going on. You're going to try to hunt, and you're going to try to gather. Figure. Uh, with that much said, you're going to have two pawns. You're going to have your gatherer, and you're going to have your hunter. And you're going to run around, and you're going to try to collect different tokens. Now, these tokens are down here. Uh, we got a sample of each of them. You're going to have uh, the hunter is going to um, kill off small animals that are non-deadly, or large animals which are deadly, and they could kill you in return. Meanwhile, the gatherer is going to try to collect acorns, berries, and herbs. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to bring them back over here to the village, which is just these little two tokens right here, and as many people as want to fit on their can. Uh, you go to the, the village and you sell them back with this really neat supply track. The supply track is pretty interesting because let's say that my hunter comes back to the village and I'm going to sell this poor little bunny, okay? He, I hunted him and I sell him for one meat and one hide. Well, I start off by saying, you know what, I'm going to sell the hide first. Why? Because it's going to give me five points. Immediately, once I provide that hide, the supply track is going to drop drastically, and, uh, and now it's gone from being five points a piece to two points because I've just supplied it, so the demand isn't there. However, I still have meat from this bunny, so I'm going to sell my meat as well, which is also another five points, which you can eventually, um, essentially, manipulate the supply and demand track with the goods that you bring back. Um, however, if you had another animal, selling it at this point would be uh, I wouldn't say worthless, but it's just a lot less points. You're going to use these tools up here. Um, these are the weapons that you use for the hunter, and then over here are the uh, items you use for the gatherer. And you're going to use these to either kill the animals or collect more goods, essentially, as you explore this world. Uh, the, there are two um, point tracks, however, and those point tracks run along the side for hunter and gatherer because whoever has the highest or the whichever is the lowest of your two for example if i have lots and lots of hunting points with very little gathering points i'm going to go with the gathering points because it's the lower of the two and unfortunately that's the score i'm going to use for the end of the game don't worry though there are some ways to get uh some of these um secret goal cards which you can do simple things throughout the game to get more points um, but they're not a huge game changer, so you really have to focus on balancing out lots of hunting as well as gathering in this game. Uh, the game ends once all of these white tokens have run out, and whoever has the most points is the winner. We got Zach Marcello with us again today, Zach. Um, we know you've been on the show before, but why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm Zach Marcello. I like rock climbing, I like biology, and I like board games. I like games of all types. Um, but I'm a particularly I like gamer type types of games. Like some some family games mm -hmm. can bore me, but I'm a, I'm a I'm a gamer game kind of guy. Good, good. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, so hunt or gather. All right. What were your first impressions about it? Oh, first impression. I really like the theme of this game. I th I love oh, read. I love the ideas. Like the the way the game comes together. Um, I have an issue with a couple of the mechanics, just how they work. I, I love I love the mechanics. I just think the math needs to be fixed a little bit on them. Um, yeah, my, there was quite a bit of math stuff that was off, but... My biggest issue with the game, though, is it's called Hunt or Gather, <laughs> and and you're supposed... If you if you only pick one, you're gonna lose. Yeah, that's true. So, <laughs> I, 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 you have to hunt and gather. Just FYI, hunt and the gather. The title is misleading everyone. Yeah, because yeah. it's your lowest track that... That the, matters, that, yeah. That scores the, so if you don't do one, yeah, so. it's over. Yeah, that's good. No, yeah, I, I really like the theme, too. I think the mechanics are simple enough. Um, I got something in my eyes. So the, uh, what else is there? There's like the the mechanics was like super easy. And oh, the supply and demand track. Ooh, that was good. I really enjoyed that part about it. Um, the the fact that you have to like time it out. Sometimes you'll sell one and then just kind of hold off until you sell another one, or you feel like just dumping it all out at one time. Um, and if you have a bunch of different stuff, you can like trigger a bunch of them to give you a lot of high points. So that's kind of fun. I, what was it? Like you went in, like I sold some herbs one time and then like you came in and just like sold like everything else on the board and then herbs just suddenly were like worth a ton of points again. Yeah, I was yeah, like, kind of, oh, dude. Well, I mean, it took help of other players, but yeah, yeah essentially we like, yeah, we all could sell everything at maximum amount of points. Yeah, I like that. Um, the currency, your points are your currency. That's a great mechanic as well. Um, I think that's fine. Um, it's not something new, but it's it's fine. I like it. The uh, the 
The number of discs I have, we have gotten a lot of complaints out of the playtesters that like there needs to be more. Like, mm -hmm. um, and I, I, that must be it's a good game, obviously, because people are saying we need more discs so the game lasts longer. Um, the the board's a little big um, for the game itself, but that's fine. It's modular, so you can move it around a little bit and make it different. But uh, yeah, that's I don't really have a bit with it other than the the war mechanics, really. No, but, but just adding what you said, I mean, it's a game about exploration, and yeah. so I feel like I just start getting into like exploring this whole new world and. And the game's over. Game's over. Kind of like, discs are gone. Yeah. But I mean, so if, if you don't want it to go too long, I, I understand having like fewer discs. But I think yeah. like you have different variants for like a short game and like sure. a long game. Sure. Like you take out specific animals or uh, yeah. plants or something like that. That, that makes sense. Um, yeah. So I, the artwork was pretty okay. Uh, nothing spectacular. I, I really like the fact that the turns are really quick though. Yes. The turns are really fast. You get to pick one thing and then you move on to the next. Um, it. Like, and it's, it's your turn within like three minutes. If everyone knows what they're doing, um, it, it's even less than that. It's like, yeah, it's like, like a minute or two minutes. minutes. Yeah, because yeah. everyone's just, okay, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna pick stuff up. Oh, look, I picked something up. You go over there and I can drop stuff off and I sell stuff and it's obvious how many points I get and things like that. So uh, it's pretty easy. Um, they, there's, there's a little bit of balancing issues, but you know, it's, it's okay. I, I really yeah. liked it. I think that it, for me, it's a good game now and it would be a great game if it had all those balancing issues taken yes. out. Oh, you know what would make it a really great game? Those darn bonus cards. Oh my gosh, the bonus cards. Please don't get me started. I... I'm gonna get you started. Okay. Ready to go. Okay, alright. <laughs> I'm on a rant. I'm on a snow box. Here we go. So I had like, I, I spent like a ton of victory points for like the best weapons in the game and I don't feel like they gave me a, like as good of a bonus as I should have. And then yeah. I ran up against this like deadly animal, had a really crappy roll and just died. Just lost everything I paid for. And that happened like four times in a row. And I, so I, every time you die, you get these, you get those cool the bonus, bonus card, cards. Yeah. At the end of the game, I think I scored on one of them. Yeah. And it, it didn't make a difference at all. Like. Right. And even still, like I was, I was in the running for second place, and I was only behind by like two points or something like that. But every single game that I played, whether I was in the lead or not in the lead or something like that, the standings, thanks to the bonus cards, no one ever changes their position ever. Like there's just two little bonus points from those bonus cards. Um, I do like the layout on the back of the card that it helps yes. you like keep everything organized because yes. I'm kind of like anal like that where I have to keep it all organized. But the um, my card fed with right, my card. Sure. I got sure. the points go there, you know, and a bunch of other people <laughs> don't do the same thing anyway. So, but besides that, the 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 points on the cards don't ever make a difference. So, personal thing that can go out there is you need to make the cards worth way more points, at least double if not triple the amount of points on the cards and make the, the objectives a bit harder for that respect. So that way it becomes their objective of the game, not simply the same thing over and over, because then the replayability starts to die really yeah. fast. If, because it is a fun game, but if you have those objectives, it's really what's gonna make the game replayable. Once again, this potential, this game has the potential to be great. Yeah, super great. Once, once we can, if you just fix some, like some of the balancing issues and the math, like this game would be epic. Yeah, I, definitely. I, I really no, like I, it. I totally agree. And I think you know if they added custom dice instead of normal dice, also a better yes. option. Um, and it would also smooth things out yeah. um, for the battle mechanics as well. Uh, but that's those are details for the designer itself. So. So, what do you think? Do you think it's? Do you think hunt or gather has got game for you? Hunt and gather, you mean? Whatever. <laughs> okay. No. Um, no. So I think it's got game as long as those things. It's got game, but yeah. I really like those changes to be made. Yeah, I definitely think it's got game. And again, like I said, it's a good game now, but it could be a great game if you made those changes. And for anyone out there who's looking. Um, this guy is trying to get it published, uh, and he'd rather have a publisher do it. So if there's any publishers watching this video, uh, please take a look into it. We think it's actually uh, it's not a bad thing. Yeah. I don't think it's you know been done too often. Um, the mechanics are quite uh, there. I don't think there's anything new necessarily, um, but there's a lot of the way that he integrates the the mechanics are great. So uh, that's that's great. Yeah. All right, shirt change for ya. Anyway, uh, so that was uh, Hunt and Gather for you. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, uh, it's actually a really good game. Uh, I know there wasn't much of an explanation, but you know what? With these prototypes, uh, we've just decided that you know, less of an explanation is better because you never know what's going to get changed out before the real thing comes out. So, 
we give you the gist, and uh, hopefully that was enough of a gist for you to understand that we really actually did like this game. Um, and we hope that a lot of it comes out of it. And so if you're interested in publishing this game, you can go ahead and contact us, and we can get you in contact with the designer. Anyway, guys, that was Got Game Testers. Please check us out at our website at gotgametesters.com, and we'll see you next time with another playtest.